Hi, my name is Darian Felton. I'm from Montezuma, Georgia. Ah, so growing up as a kid, my grandfather was a um, deacon at Antioch Baptist Church in Oglethorpe, Georgia. Um, so I, I did remember going to church a lot. Not gonna lie, I hated it. It was boring. But as I got older, of course, you know, having a mom who, a woman of Christ, it was always instilled in me at a young age. Um, and when I first went off to college, she gave me a Bible. And that helped me through a lot of lonely days and nights. Um, but my senior year of college, um, I got, um, I was saved at the barbershop. My um, barber was the pastor, a minister in the state of Georgia. So the life before I, I became where I am, where I am now, um, out of turmoil, um, trying to do things on my own, kept bumping my head, things wasn't working out. And it got to a point where I had to focus on God and understand everything came from him. Um, there's a lot of things that have happened to me within the last year and a half where I felt alone. Um, but once I started to, you know, reading the word, being around friends who are in Christ, you know, things, it's like the analogy that I can give is, you know, how it's a glooming, um, rainy day. Once it stopped, you see like that little peak of sunshine. And that's what it was for me. Uh, when I started doing the right things, that gloominess started to fade away and the sunshine and bright days started to appear. So that was a moment for me where I thought like, hey, you know, I got to recommit myself to Christ so I can have these sunny days and not always gloomy days. So I have a daughter, her name is Soleil Reese Felton. She's two years old. She's uh, my everything. Uh, me making this decision, um, also, she see what daddy's doing. Will she mimic everything I do, which is good, because I want her to mimic Christ. So, for example, when her and I have dinner or breakfast, she know to pray. So with me, it starts off with me, and I just want to trick it down to her. So the decisions that I make, especially from a kingdom standpoint, I want her, just like my mom, it was instilled in me young, I want it to be instilled in her. So as she gets older, if she try to stray, stray away, she'll come back. The baptism for me is to show God I'm all in. Um, you've been faithful, regardless of my shortcomings and, and me being disobedient. Now here's my, my time to show you that I'm all in for you. <laughs> it's undescribable, to be honest. Um, when I have a question about something, he shows up quick with the answer. And I have learned you have to be very careful what you ask for. Um, but it's the sense of peace that surpasses my understanding that I have now. If you are interested in being baptized, we do baptism on the first Sunday of every month here at the Hand of the Lord International. Fill out the form and one of our staff members will contact you as soon as possible.